everybody, I think I'll just uh, get right to it. I picked up some comics today. I was just going to show uh, everybody what I got. Uh, I've been buying these EC comic reprints from the early 90s, and I especially love these uh, Ghastly Graham Engels covers. So that's Haunt of Fear, uh, number 23. Uh, nice cover there. I like his very uh, visceral versions of the Crypt Keeper, the Old Witch, and the Vault Keeper. Very cool looking. Um, and I put these slightly out of order. This is now number 22. Another uh, Graham Engels cover. Really great looking stuff there. And last but not least, this is from one of the Super Collections. That just is sort of like a best of kind of thing. And uh, But that's a wonderfully creepy, weird looking cover there by uh, Graham Engels, who, uh, whose work I quite enjoy. And I can definitely see his influence on Bernie Wrightson and I think probably Sam Keith as well. And probably many other uh, horror uh, artists that came along later. Uh, then I got uh, one of these crime suspense stories, uh, this is number 25. I just like sort of how uh, hilariously lurid looking that cover is. Um, it somehow reminds me of, if you've ever seen the movie The Seven Year Itch, there was the mock-up for the book that he was supposed to be editing, and it sort of had that kind of look to it, this sort of 50s lurid look. you got this creepy guy and this good looking girl. Although, I don't know any women who have purses that small, but, <laughs> sorry. Um, but anyway. Maybe they were smaller in the 50s, I don't know. Uh, ver okay, and here we have, had to get this one. Very notorious cover uh, by Johnny Craig. <laughs> Giving us the impression that this guy has uh, chopped off a uh, lady's head. But of course it's always possible that there are two girls involved. And they're just, uh, you know, clowning around for the camera. <laughs> you never know. Uh, last but not least, Shock, Sus Shock Suspense Stories number two. Um, and this one's really got a lot of stuff going on that almost just to me completely encapsulates the 50s. Give it to him, the dirty red. You don't like it here, why don't you go back where you came from? Stop it, please. What, are you, what you're doing is wrong. Act like Americans. So there's like a big riot going on here, so. That uh, just sort of, you know, shows us that not as all well during the so called idyllic 50s. Um, and, okay, uh,. And some Fantastic Fours. I'm uh, sort of collecting in the hundreds of Fantastic Fours. So there's 177. I like that. you got the uh, Return of the Frightful Flo Four. And uh, nice floating heads there. <laughs> uh, yeah. And some uh, Kirby style crackles. Uh, number 178. And, and here is another nice, I like that dramatic dire expression on the face of Reed Richards, who apparently is the villain for this issue. Guess we'll see how that works out. Uh, pretty much got a clear run of Fantastic Four from about 200 to 400. Uh, I'm sort of working in the hundreds right now. Uh, X-Men, on the other hand, Uncanny X-Men, I've just about got everything I want. I'm just finishing up a couple of little gaps. So there's 191, and I seem to remember actually buying this cover, but uh, buying this comic uh, at 7-Eleven back when it first came out. So that's actually... Uh, this will be the second time I bought it, but some, something happened to my original copy at some point over the years, so there you go. It's a pretty distinct cover. I think that at the time it was a sort of a shocker for me to see two good guys fighting, so it was Colossus and the Vision. Uh, then, of course, we got number 192, so there's that. And, kind of a bit of an impulse buy here, but I actually bought a couple issues from the Marvel Star Wars, uh, number 7, as well as number 8, and... Um, I think number seven is in a way like the first issue of uh, new stories that weren't based on the movies. So, and it co seems to go right into a Han Solo adventure. So it's it's like they'd kind of figured out who the real breakout character was going to be for this uh, for Star Wars. Um, so then I think you start getting back into Luke uh, in this issue, and then uh, they meet all kinds of crazy characters, including this rabbit. <laughs> And speaking of rabbits, I'm not going to show all the covers of this because I got all of these. It was the 20, 20 issues of Captain Carrot and his amazing zoo crew. Today I got the whole set for about 20 bucks, which I was pretty happy about. Uh, I tend to like these kind of crazy, humorous sort of comics. Uh, so, yeah, there's a whole bunch of good covers here, but it would probably take, all day, take another 10 minutes or so to show them all. So maybe I'll do that for another day, but anyway, I was pretty happy to get these. They're out of the, They're in one of those... You know, it was all slammed into one wrapper. I just took them out, so I'm going to individually package them at my earliest possible convenience. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and everybody have a great week. Mm -hmm.